start, but it'll be a dry finish. Temperatures may be a little bit below average, but we'll go up. Right now, it's gone up from yesterday. This time we're in the upper 30s. Remember yesterday, we were like 15 to 20 degrees warm or colder. We're 15 to 20 degrees warmer now. Upper 30s, low 40s. The winds are going to be gusty. So with that said, it's going to feel colder than the actual temperatures. Overnight, we're going back down, upper 20s, low 30s, really setting the stage for snow to come through and stick in some places. It may struggle a little bit in New York City, but other locations, we do have a good chance of some light accumulations. The higher amounts to our south, as opposed to the more snow showers to our north, this past system that came through. It was a minor one, but still some lingering flurries. We'll get rid of that, but can get rid of this area of low pressure. That's going to come through and provide us with some added totals. Moving through the Ohio Valley, it looks like it'll get here close to around midnight or so. Could be a little bit earlier for points west, like New Jersey, maybe as early as around 10. Then those steady bands coming through just a bit, and this is where we anticipate the higher totals. So, so somewhere in central southern New Jersey, maybe even along the south shore, especially around Staten Island, maybe seeing those higher totals as well. And we're talking higher as in two to three uh, some areas may be up to about four. Here, a look at preliminary numbers, lighter accumulations to your north. This is not a big system by any stretch, but remember, we already have snowpack along the way. Now, winds are going to be gusty to near 30, even 40. Some areas 50 miles per hour and then starts to relax over the weekend. Still a little bit breezy at times, and the wind chills will be in the 20s, and some areas maybe even colder.